everyone, today I'm going to be recreating the Taylor Swift makeup for the VMAs this past year, so 2012 VMAs. And I fell in love with her makeup when I saw her walking on the red carpet because it just stood out so much with the red lip and the dramatic winged liner. It's very classic Taylor, something she always does, and I just love it, and especially with her white suit and all. I think it looks really pretty, and I could not wait to try to recreate it and try it out for myself. This is something that I definitely would not wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you wanted to get glammed up or on a night out or something. All the products I'm going to be using are going to be listed on my blog, so if you're interested in any of them, the links to where you can buy them will be on there. And I will also have more comparisons pictures and her pictures and um, some pictures of this look that way you guys can see how it turned out. Let's go ahead and get started. I also wanted to mention that before filming I already applied my foundation and I did my eyebrows so I have an eyebrow tutorial. It's actually an updated one. I will link that for you all below. The only thing that I did different was I used the Vino Tinted Moisturizer just because I didn't want to cake on a lot of makeup but her look is very matte and it is full coverage so make sure you use my full coverage foundation routine and my eyebrow tutorial before you try this out. So I'm going to start off with Urban Decay's Primer Potion, like always. The palette that I'm going to be using is the Rimmel Glamize HD in English Oak, and this has some really pretty golden and rose gold colors in it. On a flat shader brush, take the golden shade and apply it all over your lids. Then blend out the edges with a fluffy blending brush. Then using a large flat shader brush, place the shimmery beige color on the inner portion of your lids and blend it out. I'm also taking this on the tear duct area and part of the lower lash line. Then I'm taking my Too Faced Natural Eye Kit with a tapered blending brush. Apply the tan color called Velvet Revolver to your crease. This makes a subtle definition but not too dramatic. Then with a fluffy brush, apply the highlight color Heaven to your brow bone. Now back in the Rimmel palette, apply the gold color using an angled brush to your lower lash line. Then from the Too Faced palette, apply the gold color Honey Pot to the inner half of your lower lash line. Then with the pencil brush, apply the brown color to the outer portion of your lower and your upper lash line and wing it out just a little bit. Then I'm taking the NYX Slide On Liner in Brown Perfection and applying it to my lower lash line. Then I smudge the liner out with a pencil brush. I also applied the liner to my upper tight line. Then using the L'Oreal Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Liner, Apply it to your upper lash line and wing it out from the bottom. This is the key to this look. Taylor's liner was much thicker on the top lash line, but I wanted mine to be a little bit thinner since my eyes are so small. Then I took Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in zero and connected the liquid liner to the lower lash line. The color on the lower lash line should fade from dark to light. Then I cleaned up the eyeshadow that was below the liquid liner. Then I applied a little bit more gold shadow to the lower lash line. To brighten up the under eyes and enhance the wing even more, apply L'Oreal's Magic Lumi Concealer under the wing and blend it out with a fluffy brush. Then I'm curling my eyelashes and applying lots of black mascara. Taylor's obviously wearing false lashes, but I just stuck to the L'Oreal Power Volume Collagen Mascara and Black is Black. Then for blush, I'm using the Everyday Minerals Blush in Girl Friday. It didn't look like Taylor had much of anything on her cheeks, but I wanted to add a natural flush to my cheeks anyways. 
I also applied some of NYX's powder under my eyes to set the concealer I applied earlier and to brighten it up since it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. Now for lips. Taylor is wearing her classic bright cherry red lip. I started off with NYX's lip liner in hot red to define the shape of my lips. Taylor always has a very pointed cupid's bow so I just enhanced mine a little bit. Then I took Maybelline's Color Sensational Lipstick and Red Revival and applied it to my lips using a lip brush since this is a very rich color I didn't want to make a mistake. And since it looked like the outer rim of her lips were a bit darker, I took the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet and applied it to the outer portion of my lips just to deepen up the color a little bit. Then I blotted some of it off with the tissue so it wasn't too intense and applied a little bit of the Revlon Colorburst Lip Gloss in Bordeaux to add a little sheen. And that is it for this Taylor Swift inspired look. Check out my blog for more pictures and I hope you all enjoyed. So that is it for my recreation of the Taylor Swift VMA makeup tutorial. Make sure you check out all the pictures on my blog and the product links. And let me know what you guys thought about this and if you liked it or if you're going to recreate it for yourself. And you can always upload a picture to my Facebook page or you can tweet it to me as well if you decide to try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all soon. Bye everyone.